this is your basic transverse wave. Uh, transverse wave is where the particles of the medium will move perpendicular to the direction of the wave itself. The basic anatomy of a transverse wave is you have your crests, which are the high points, and your troughs, which are the low points. The amplitude of a wave is defined as the highest point or the lowest point that the wave will get from the resting position. So the amplitude can be uh, the height of the crest or it can be measured as the depth of the trough. The wavelength of the wave is just measured as one complete wave cycle. In this case, it's measuring all the way down and all the way back up again. It can just as easily be measured from anywhere on the wave. You could start here and you go all the way up, all the way down, and back to where you ended. So a wavelength could also be from trough to trough, all the way up and all the way back down. And that is one wavelength. The nodes are the points of a standing wave where you get very little movement. Uh, right here is a node, right here would be a node, and right here would be the node. So while in a standing wave, the crests and the troughs would constantly be switching sides, the nodes themselves are these points right here that don't move at all. 